when it comes to regulating the internet, it's important to not get lost in the question around how to regulate information. Uh, we need to regulate the information space rather than the information itself, because obviously what we don't want is that regulation uh, hampers the freedom of expression online. DSA goes one step further. It also tries to regulate the more systemic problems, to some extent at least, um, that comes with it. I think it's important to recognize that social media platforms are not, they have never been meant to be great spaces of online debate. They have been built as advertising platforms um, and as such they have the incentive to first and foremost make sure people watch as much advertising as possible and create as much personal data and you know for the profiling and everything that's needed uh, for these companies and so it's these platforms work in the interest of the platforms not in the interest of public debate and I think that's important to recognize and I hope that the DSA uh, will have some positive influence uh, uh, on, on these questions in terms of regulation even though we already see that the there are strong limits to what it will be able to do also because there was only so much political will to make it happen. It's important to um, deal with disinformation as a systemic issue and that includes both empowering people to recognize what disinformation is, be able to distinguish bullshit stuff from real um, trustworthy information, from truth, um, but also uh, empower people to decide for themselves what kind of online content they want to interact with. At the moment, that's not the case. It's the platforms that decide what kind of content we see, how long we see it, how often we see it. And there is no way for people to have an influence on that, and this needs to change. At the moment, the company Meta that runs Facebook is responsible for moderating online speech of three billion people on the planet. You know, coming, these are people coming from different backgrounds, with, they live in different jurisdictions, they have different cultural habits, and they're just different. And so it is, it is literally impossible for a company like, like Meta or any company really to do this well in, in a way. And so what we need is we need to decentralize content moderation. We need to give back the control over online spaces to the communities that use it and that need it. Um, and, and this is a process that cannot be done on a, play, on a Facebook platform or, or a similar large platform.